percussion. Like on that track, Lowrider by War, great percussion, great bass. But did you know there's a very faint lead guitar signature far off to the right side of the far off to the right side of the track? I've heard that song a thousand times and I never picked up on that. The XD05 Pro brought out all the detail. It brings a whole new dimension to that song. Hi, I'm Bob and you are back in the United States of Analog. Welcome. Now, in just over a year that I've been doing this YouTube thing, I have been wrestling with an essential question. Am I, or should I be, a reviewer or a presenter? Two different things in my mind. Reviewing suggests a lot of specialized or proprietary knowledge or expanded experience that often leads to a very specific recommendation on a product or some gear. Presenter to me seems a little different, like uh, I'm a person or a friend that's hipping you to something that maybe you've never heard or seen before. Giving you three or four highlights or downfalls along the way and then encouraging you to go out and do your own additional research based on conditions like your financial condition, your, your living style, your musical taste, uh, uh, your musical preferences, even, even the quality of your hearing. Now, we all have different needs. As a 33-year veteran of morning talk radio and other careers that have included concert promoting, uh, advertising agency work, uh, uh, marketing, and other you know television, I, I think I may be more comfortable in the latter role, the presenter role. Because really, in reality, who am I? to tell you what to do or what to buy. But like you, I have an interest in this hobby, and in my case, decades, searching for the best gear to fit not only my taste, but more importantly, my budget, because I'm kind of a cheap ass, and enjoying the music first, and then the gear second. Because of this channel, I'm now fortunate enough to get my hands on lots of products that I can present to you for your consideration. So, what's best for you, me as a reviewer or a presenter? Put it in the comments below and we'll see where it all goes. Now, I'm gonna present to you another, yes, another DAC headphone amp exploration on United States of Analog. I get it, it's kinda of digital. Unleash the vitriol, have fun, but hear me out. First, DAC stands for Digital to Analog converter. Analog. I'm still kind of in the correct lane. Second, I've been having a blast with this thing for a couple of months. The X-Duo XD05 Pro portable. I'm going to put portable in air quotes, balanced DAC headphone amp with available DAC chip and op amps that you can swap out to your liking. Thanks to Apos Audio for entrusting me with this unit. Now this is not any kind of paid sponsorship as sadly at a price point of 799 US this must and I mean must go back. Apos is a great online retailer with a wide scope of hi-fi gear. They have free shipping. They have a very uh, easy return policy. So there's a little ad for you Apos. Thanks for supporting my channel. Okay let's begin and have some fun with this little unit that kind of reminds me of the computer module at the end of 2001 A Space Odyssey. You know the HAL 9000 computer that Dave is uh, trying to disconnect. Anyway, uh, the X-Duo is a portable uh, device with a solid alloy metal shell here. It's in a beautiful battleship gray finish. Got a great feel. Underneath you have a schematic and kind of this uh, carbon fiber look. This device allows users to connect to their high fidelity headphones, even hard to drive models. You can connect it to smartphones, laptops, desktop computers. The Pro is an enhanced version of the XD05 series. It features greater power and even more flexibility than any of its predecessors in the line. As I've mentioned, the unit is heavy and solid thanks to its metal construction. It weighs about 1.7 pounds, uh, seven and a quarter inches front to back, three and three quarters inches wide, and one and a quarter inches tall without the included rubber feet. You may be asking yourself, how is this portable? Well, I can assure you that it is with its excellent 12 hour, 5,000 milliamp hour battery and a huge supplied collection of cables and connections. This package is impressive, but this is not a put in your pocket or maybe even a, you know, train commute kind of portable, but it's certainly a throw in your bag and go on a trip portable or move from room to room portable. It's, it's up to you to decide how to use it. It features two easy to read display screens, one on the top 
and one on the front built into the volume function knob. Indicator lights on each side remind you of which of the three modes you are enjoying. Turbo for hard to drive cans, normal for other big headphones and planars, and Eco for IEM or Buzz. There's a full-size standard connection and a 4.4 millimeter balance connection. I used the standard. The back, combo optical coax input, AES in, USB-C in, aux in out, balanced in out, USB-C charge in, and a switch to select charge, external power, or battery play. Bluetooth is also available inside. And like I said, X-Duo provides in the box just about every connection and accessory you will need. Hey, while you're at it, will you do me a big favor, a big solid, and honor me with a subscription and a like and punch that uh, notification bell really hard until it hurts. Punch it real good, all right? Thank you. And don't forget to hype me. And I don't even know what that means, but uh, I've been told to say it, so hype away. Hype me like there's no tomorrow, like you're some kind of hype machine. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm telling you, this whole package is a premium presentation. I was really impressed. Now for the real fun. And I normally wouldn't tell you to flip a device upside down, but let's do it because here is where you can play Audio God and start swapping out individual DACs that are available and op amps. You'll get a supplied ES9039S DAC module, but for about $150 each, you can also pick up an AKM 4499EX or a Rome BD 34301 EKV module. I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah, you just pop the screws, blow the hatch, remove the two screws on the module, and swap it out. Did you feel the power right there? It's right there in your hands, and now you have a completely different model, a completely different unit. The XD05 Pro supports PCM up to 32768, DSD512, and MQA decoding. For the purpose of my evaluations, I brought out two sets of headphones, the surprisingly agile and fun Verum One Planars, which I've shown you before, and the new to market collab between Audio-Technica and Apos. These are extremely comfortable, over ear, open back, they're the R70X Refined. I chose the Weem Ultra Streamer as my source, providing me with the usual suspects of test tracks and my selected artist for this test, War. I know, right? I don't know if it was the hot summer we had or what, but I've really been diving into that band lately for the first time in years. Their music is fun, nostalgic, dynamics with lots of hidden nuances you might not have previously heard on FM radio. Now, I highly recommend a good copy of War's Greatest Hits in any format. What a great band. Now, which DAC module will win out? The 9039 supplied is a good chip. I've had many great experiences with it over the last couple of years. It's very listenable. It's a great all-arounder found in a lot of products. An extremely quiet, low noise chip that I thought was, was a good sound for me until I met the AKM4499. Thank you, Jashelli Labs, for that. Many have noted that it has a kind of a velvet sound in musical presentation. And this is where the DAC game gets a little weird for us regular guys. And velvet sound. By the way, I've been using air quotes a lot, I know, in this video. I just did it again. <laughs> Take away all the numbers and the tech specs, and many of us would be hard-pressed to tell the difference in sound. The deltas are so low sometimes, and I think as consumers, as I am, we can be very influenced by the descriptions of uh, other influencers. If, if Randy says a DAC has a velvet sound, then I'll probably adopt that opinion since he's heard a lot more DACs than me at this point. That being said, if I had to take the stand, uh, I would confess that I have developed a preference for the 4499 out of all the chips in my price comfort zone. I will always trade a little bit of that clarity or transparency for a more, for lack of a better term, a vintage rock and roll sound in a DAC chip. I don't always want to analyze the music, but I do want to feel it. And that's what the AKM delivers, at least to me. And I'm happy X-Duo provides my favorite chip as an option. Here comes the big butt. 
X-Duo has given me the chance to experience the Rome BD34 301 EKV, another optional module. It's been marketed as a DAC that favors pop vocals. I don't know about that, and I'm not sure what that means, but I took the bait and I screwed it in. Oh man, where has this thing been all my life? I don't know about the pop vocals thing, but man, did it deliver the details in the music without losing the dynamics I love about the AKM. Now, let me put it this way. The AKM has my heart, but the Rome has my attention. Like on that track, Lowrider by War, great percussion, great bass, just a great riff all together. But did you know there's a very faint, repeating lead guitar signature far off to the right side of the, far off to the right side of the track. I know that now. I've heard that song a thousand times and I never picked up on that before. Not in that way. It's a detail that can be lost on average speakers or systems when you're kind of focused on the great rhythm of that track. It brings a whole new dimension to that song. Likewise, on Me and Baby Brother, on the other side, on the left, the XD05 Pro brought out all the detail of the unique texture of that Hammond organ. I think it's a Hammond organ riff. These nuances showed up a little more in the RX-70s, but the Virum brought out that live punch, that live sound, that expansive sound that planars bring to the table. One was not better than the other, but different flavors. These are small things, but important things to us few remaining holdouts that seek total musical enjoyment and discovery. A good headphone setup like this can act like a microscope in picking up those details. With a device like the X-Duo, a well thought out architecture, a wide array of accessories and available DACs and op amps and, and more on the way I'm told, we get to experience many, many different flavors without leaving our listening chair. I didn't even switch out the op amps yet because I'm not sure I possess the skill set. And, and since this unit wasn't actually mine, I opted to just listen to the included op amps. Besides, I was already pleasantly exhausted. For some, this could be too much audio umami. For others, it will be a thrilling adventure. I've already gone on too long as a presenter, <laughs> maybe not long enough as a reviewer, but I will cap it off by saying that you can explore many more of the XD05 Pro Specs and details at apos.audio. Dot com, if that's the sort of thing to get your motor running. And there you can check out their new headphone collab with Audio Technica. So at $7.99, this DAC headphone amp isn't going to be for every audiophile, and it's somewhat limited in its portability in some ways, and it may not be as appealing as a dongle DAC for some of you, but it's a hell of a good time, and I enjoyed listening to it in many rooms in my home. Even that room. I think you know what I'm talking about. I'm submitting it for your consideration today and further research. The X-Duo XD05 Pro Balance DAC Headphone Amp, a portable device, yes, portable, with a tank-like build in a beautiful package that transcends the fun fi category in just about every way and equipped with a ton of accessories. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate getting a little bit of your valuable time. But if I can have just a few more minutes, I think I have something else that you would be interested in. You know the geniuses at YouTube? They're pretty smart. They've already decided which video of mine that you're gonna enjoy next. It's right here, it's gonna pop up. If it's not here already, it's gonna pop up very soon. I'd like you to check it out. All you have to do is click on it and you will go a long way to supporting my channel and expanding your audio knowledge. I'll see you next time in the United States of Analog.